A little over a year ago, I was scrolling through YouTube and I saw a video pop up that was called, After This, You'll Never Need Another Camera Bag. So I watched through the whole video and being the Peter McKinnon fanboy that I am, I went straight to Kickstarter and backed the project immediately. So before we get further into it with the Kickstarter or the bag itself, I just wanna preface this by saying that I like Peter McKinnon. What's up everybody? I like his photos, I like his videos. A lot of what I know about cameras in the first place are from binge watching his YouTube channel. And I'm pretty sure he had nothing Thing to do with all the shipping problems that Nomadic had throughout this Kickstarter. But with all that being said, this Kickstarter was what I would characterize as a complete and utter f***ing atrocity from start to finish. Obviously, this is a camera bag review, so I'm not gonna go crazy over the Kickstarter and badmouth Nomadic for 10 minutes. I'll just say, in a nutshell, it was basically shipping got delayed, then it got delayed again, then it kept getting delayed, then they said they had the products, but they lost the pallet, and people were like getting the wrong packages with no tracking information and it just turned into this crazy convoluted mess. I will say this though, after all the drama and horrible stuff going on on Kickstarter and just waiting and waiting, the bag was like 95% worth the wait. It's not perfect, but it's close and it's definitely my favorite camera bag that I've ever owned. The whole idea behind this camera bag is customization. So you can pretty much build out the entire inside into whatever you want to suit your specific needs. There's three different accessories that you can buy for the inside inside of this bag. You can buy one large cube, you can buy two smaller cubes, or you can just buy a set of dividers like I did for the inside of the bag with no cubes involved. The bag itself is also supposed to come standard with accessory straps. Now, I personally bought extra accessory straps, but those were the only ones I got, meaning the bag didn't come with the accessory straps that it was supposed to. And while we're on the topic of the accessories, this Kickstarter also featured a tech organizer and a sling bag. I've had my eye on the tech organizer since the Kickstarter started, but I don't want the sling bag. Not because there's anything wrong with it. All three bags look super nice but I already have a camera sling and I never use it for anything. Okay, so now that all that stuff is out of the way, let's talk about the actual features of the everyday camera bag. First and foremost, the capacity on this bag is 25 liters. And in my opinion, 25 liters is the perfect amount of space for the amount of gear that I like to carry on my back on a daily basis. The weight of the bag when it's empty is 3.18 pounds or 1.4 kilograms, and it's 19 by 11 by eight inches, which means that it can be used as a carry-on. It also features a six 16 inch laptop compartment in the side and I don't know what they made the inside of that laptop compartment out of but I wish my bed was made of the same material because it is super nice. And for all my backpack nerds out there, the notable materials are it's EVA foam with a tarpaulin shell and then zoom zippers. The last on paper spec that I wanna talk about with this thing is the lifetime warranty. I'm relatively sure that Nomadic has a lifetime warranty for all their bags but I'm not certain. The other thing is I don't think that I'm too keen on sending this bag out if something happens happens to it. At least not until Nomadic handles all their stocking issues. After all, it did take a year to get here. Don't waste my mother time! But anyway, now that we've covered everything on paper, I'd like to talk about it in practice. This bag has been in my possession for about two weeks now, and I've been using it every single day as my main camera bag. So first and foremost, let's talk about the outside and the aesthetics. I know this is gonna be really subjective. Some people are probably going to like it, some people aren't, but I don't think there's a whole lot to dislike here. It's very minimalist looking. There's not a whole lot going on. It's a very simple design, but it still looks like a premium camera bag. Another thing I really like aesthetically is how modern it looks. It just looks like a nice modern backpack that maybe you're bringing to the office or maybe you have books and a laptop in it for school. It doesn't look like a camera bag. I think all too often nowadays camera bags look like you're going hiking or you're going climbing and there's nothing wrong with that aesthetic but it's just not really my style. Another thing I really appreciate about the aesthetics are there's not a whole lot of branding. The branding is very low key and dialed back. There's a tiny little patch in the front of the bag that says Nomadic and Peter McKinnon's signature. There's a Pirate Pete logo right where your back meets the bag. The zipper pulls have tiny little Nomadic and Peter McKinnon logos on them, and that's pretty much it. And I think it makes the bag look really premium to not have a bunch of goofy branding on it. And by the way, there's no other colorways. Most, if not all, of Nomadic's products are just black on black with brown interiors, and I'm not complaining because most of my clothing is black, so this bag matches most of my clothing. And speaking of black, this bag definitely needs more metal. <laughs> 
I'm talking about the components and accessories on the outside of this bag. Things like the strap poles or the strap connectors, the accessory strap hooks, all of it is hard plastic and this really annoys me because my less expensive camera bag, the Peak Design bag, has mostly metal components. This definitely isn't the end of the world though. The components are very nice even though they're hard plastic. It's a very high quality hard plastic. I just personally would have designed it with metal components. And speaking of straps, the main straps are top notch. I absolutely love the straps on this bag. They're super well padded, they're really comfortable to wear for long periods of time and oddly enough, even though this bag has more gear in it than my previous camera bag, it actually feels lighter and I think that's due to how well designed the straps are. There is one thing that I would change about the main straps however. They're sewn in at the top anchor point and this isn't the worst design in the world but I do have a camera bag that actually has pivot points at the top so it doesn't hug the back of your neck uncomfortably. I really wish that Nomadic incorporated it in the design of this bag. Connecting the two main straps together you'll find a sternum strap. It has a buckle release in the center, it's elastic and it can also be adjusted up or down for your height preference. But to be honest, I don't really like the sternum strap on this bag and I'm probably just gonna end up taking it off and not using it. I don't like that it's elastic. I have other camera bags with rigid sternum straps and I like the fit and feel of those a little bit more. I don't like that it doesn't have a strap stay, that little piece of elastic that holds the excess strap down and it keeps it looking tidy. And I also don't like how thin it is. It just doesn't really feel as sturdy as it should in my opinion. As I said earlier, this bag is supposed to come standard with accessory straps. Mine did not, unfortunately, but luckily I bought a two pack of them so I still have them to review and use. And I think Nomadic did a fantastic job with these. They're really well designed, they feel nice and sturdy. There's a release buckle in the center so you can get your gear off your bag quickly. There's a locking mechanism so it stays the same length no matter what. It has a strap stay so that it looks nice and tidy no matter what. The only issue that I have with these accessory straps are the mounting points on the bag itself. And I wouldn't even say that I have a problem with the mounting points, I just wish there were more of them, especially on the bottom of the bag. I used to hang the tripod off the bottom of my Peak Design bag and I can't do that on this bag because there's no mounting points down there. The other thing is I can't really figure out a way to mount my tripod to this bag at all without it feeling really awkward and wobbly. But anyway, the only other major thing to cover on this bag are the side pockets and while I don't hate them, I'm not in love with the design either. The problem is they're either all the way open or they're all the way closed. They're held shut with a strip of magnets that are sewn into the pocket itself and when those magnets are closed you can just fit like a filter case or a postcard in there and that's it. Anything larger and you actually have to open the pocket and now it may be a little bit too large for a medium sized item. I just don't think something that's designed to hold a bunch of different items that are all different sizes should be an on off switch. I think it should be more of a spectrum like if the whole pocket was elastic and just held shut with elastic and stretched to whatever size you need depending on what item you put in it. Before we move on to the inside of this bag, there is one more thing that I want to praise Nomadic for on the outside of this bag and that is the bottom is flat and the bag stands up on its own. There's nothing I hate more than when a camera bag just tips over every single time you put it down even when it's empty. So finally we come to the inside of this bag and the endless possibilities as far as customizing it are concerned. As I said earlier, I didn't buy a large cube or two smaller cubes, I just bought the dividers because I just wanted a well built full access camera bag and that's exactly what I got. My whole thought process behind buying the dividers and no cubes is I don't switch my gear around all that often. Most of the time I'm carrying the exact same gear every day with very slight variations. Definitely not enough to warrant filling a bunch of cubes with a bunch of gear and switching it out constantly. The first thing I noticed upon opening this bag up is all the zippers feel insanely premium. Like they're very smooth, they don't get hung up or snagged on anything. The only thing I don't like is the front compartment zipper can sometimes interact with the rear compartment zipper. In my opinion, this is as close to a luxury camera bag as you can get. All the materials from top to bottom, everything from the little leather zipper pulls, the dividers, the snaps for the ladder system, the zippers, everything feels super high quality. And they really feel like they're gonna stand the test of time. Of course, if they don't, the bag has a lifetime warranty, so you're pretty much airtight as far as build quality is concerned. Something that annoys me, however, is in the prototype models that we saw in the videos before ordering these bags, you actually had four 
smaller pockets here instead of two large ones. I don't like putting all my accessories in one big pocket and having them all get mixed together. I'd much rather have the four smaller ones. Another thing is all the wasted space up here. I know it lies flat against this, so you wouldn't be able to carry anything big if there were a pocket up here, but they definitely could have fit a small half pocket up here. Also, it wouldn't be overstating it to say that this bag is built like a tank. There is padding literally everywhere on this bag. I even dropped it off the boardwalk the other day trying to get B-roll for this very video with a camera body and two lenses in it, and all three of those items are fine. So that's a testament to how rugged and well-built this bag is. Another thing I absolutely love about the design of this bag is the pass-through nature of the loft. If I put my camera up here, I'm messing around with my gear, and then I close the bag back up, and I want access to my camera without having to put the bag down and open it all the way back up, I can just open the front flap, grab my camera, and I'm ready to go. I was originally under the impression that the loft was just gonna be like a small catch-all area where maybe I throw some small odds and ends, but I can actually fit my entire gimbal up in the top of this bag with room to spare. And the other thing that's super useful is I can fit my drone, three batteries, and its controller in the loft. The main cavity makes excellent use of its space. It took me a while to figure out exactly how I wanted the divider set up, but once I did, I can fit both my camera bodies and all three lenses with a lot of room to spare for accessories. And also because there's room to spare, if I wanted to just move a couple things around, I could just keep buying lenses and empty my bank account and not really have to worry about which lenses I'm going to bring with me because they'll all fit in this bag. And while we're talking about it, I probably wouldn't want any more space than this. With the amount of gear I have in this bag and the amount of weight that it carries, I think it's pretty much perfect as an everyday bag. If you do decide to go the route of buying the dividers, you're gonna get seven dividers total. So you're getting two large ones, two medium ones, and then three smaller ones. And all of the dividers feel super well padded and premium. And obviously because the dividers are taking up the whole bottom of the bag, I can't pull the ladder system down and make the loft larger. That's just a byproduct of going with the dividers instead of the half cubes. Also, there's a scene in the video that Peter McKinnon made about this bag where he's like hosing it off at a car wash port. I don't know why they would sell a rain cover for this bag if it's entirely waterproof like that, but I've just been using a wet microfiber cloth whenever I needed to clean it off, and that seems to be doing the trick. Undo these buckles on either side, you can actually pull the entire ladder system out of the bag all at once, and that leaves you with just one giant open space. But anyway, guys, that's been my review of the Peter McKinnon X Nomadic Everyday Camera Bag, and like I said in the beginning, I am 95% happy with this thing. It is definitely my new favorite camera bag, hands down. If you're still interested and you want to know more about this bag, definitely stay tuned because my next video is going to be the Nomadic Everyday Camera Bag versus the Peak Design Everyday Backpack version 2. And that's all I got. If you got something out of this video, consider going down and hitting the like and the subscribe button. It means the world to content creators like me. Thank you for joining me on another episode of Sam Has a Spending Problem, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.